Can I speak to you about my God? In this season, whoever will stand against you will not just face you. He will face the might of your God. I receive it. I thought this word was for you. If it is for you, can I hear a shout of praise? Glory to Jesus. This is a presentation of Hallelujah Ministries International. You are watching us wherever you may be. This word is yours. I command her blood pressure to leave you. In the name of I command Jesus. constant migraine to leave you. I speak against that tumor in the name of Jesus. I command that lump to disappear in Jesus' in name. name of Jesus. I speak against sugar diabetes in, in the name Jesus of Jesus. Name. I command this menorah to leave you in, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. I speak against every spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Today, I decree and I declare divine health is your portion. Be healed in the name oh. of Jesus. Jesus. Jesus I have seen people doctors have given up on I have seen not just heard they could not stand they could not walk My God. they were half dead mm. half is better they were really dead but Jesus Christ the same who resurrected a man who was in his tomb dead for four days. Jesus Christ. Not just the son of Mary, but God himself who took the body, was born in our realm to save humanity, accepted to die on the cross of Calvary, shed his blood, and as Isaiah says, by his stripes, oh we are healed. Amen. I saw Jesus cross heal. Miracles. That even one who carries the Bible, if he's not tuned in the Holy Ghost, will say, can this be God? Miracles untold. There are people here who yesterday could not stand by themselves. Here, they had to be willed everywhere they went. Today, when I say jump, they are jumping. Yes. Not because Hallelujah. of a man, Hallelujah. because of wow. Jesus. Can I speak about my Jesus? Oh, Jesus. I will go till the end of the earth and tell men and women there is a hope, there is a savior. His name is J E S U S Jesus. Hallelujah. Those who look to him are radiant. Mm -hmm. The faces will never be covered with shame. There are people here who were yesterday diagnosed with uh, incurable diseases, cancer, spread cancer, stage two, three, four cancer. There are people here who were healed, healed of cancer, healed of HIV. Yes, hallelujah. Here, most of them still serving in the church. Yes. The world will not say amen to your prophecy. Mm -hmm. The world will never align with what God is saying. Right. Because the spirit of the world is against the spirit and the doings of God. Right. But that those who are in faith should expect that your God is bigger than what they say it is. I, was I don't know how many people I'm speaking to. <laughs> Your God is bigger I than what men say he is. What they say, you will not see. I decree and I declare, in this year, 2020, you shall see. I, will see. I say you shall see. In Jesus name. I say you shall see. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. 
your family is blessed. I see a mother praying. You have a daughter called Anna. You are asking Anna, I want Anna to be well. I want Anna to have her own family. I want Anna to have her own children. You are praying over John because John is smoking over and over and over. And you say, I don't know. Lord, intervene. You say, Lord Marvin, I don't understand this child. I'm speaking to somebody in the prophetic. You say, I don't understand. Is that you I'm talking about, mama? Is that you? Yeah. Your children? Yeah. You are saying, oh God, I don't know what to do. This one is yeah. even aggressive. But hear me. Oh my God. The Lord has heard you. The Lord has answered you. In the name of Jesus. I say in the name of Jesus. I see a woman there in the Holy Ghost as I'm pointing. You came from Israel, but I see you are from Sri Lanka, from Israel. Wave to me. You are not just praying for yourself, but hear me. God is blessing you. God is blessing you. He's opening doors. I am prophesying. One man's prophecy, one woman's saved. prophecy is everybody's prophecy. All the way from Israel. Hey. Hear me. You are praying because there is a brother who is sick. This brother has cancer. And the, the doctors are thinking of operating him. I am seeing January the 10th. They said to take him to an operation. And you are here as a nurse yourself. You came from Israel. You came to connect to this altar. You are praying for your brother. Yes. Same path. Yes, man of God. God, 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 God. Glory to God. Baba Bosha. Baba Baba Bosha. Lift your hand and say, My time has come. My time has come. Say, I will never be the same again. I will not be the same again. Say, I will never ever be the same again. I will never ever be the same again. Let me tell you concerning your brother. God has seen him because of your faith. You have a sister whose husband is also scheduled for an operation. And you're asking yourself, you're saying, Lord, if my brother died and my brother-in-law dies, we remain alone. God is saying, because of your faith, today in this season, the doctor of the doctors is intervening. Receive the grace of God. Receive it for your family. Take it is yours. In the name of Jesus. Can I speak to you about my God? In this season, whoever will stand against you will not just face you. He will face the might of your God. I receive it. I thought this word was for you. If it is for you, can I hear a shout of praise? Glory to Jesus. This season, 2020, your season of great grace, whoever will dare you will face the almighty God. Somebody say, I receive it. I receive it. Tonight, you are not just being loud. You are being tuned in the frequency of your God. Whatever you are laboring for and traveling for tonight will be what will sustain you prophetically throughout the year. So lift your right hand and as if you are pulling a physical thing, say, I receive it. Say again, I receive it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, I want to give you a few minutes to speak to God. You are in white. You are in the pool of the grace of God. You have to speak to him. But while you are standing, I want you to remember this scripture. Because this is your scripture for this season. Acts chapter 4. Verse 33, 
speaks of the happenings in the first church. We may not be the physical primitive first church. This word relates to those who receive the Holy Ghost. The day of Pentecost. As the spirit of God birthed the church, the body of Christ. The Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 4 verse 33 and with great power with great power lift your hand and say with great power with great power i shall serve god i shall serve god say with great power with great power i shall arise i shall arise say with great power with great power i shall operate i shall operate in the name of jesus in the name of jesus please understand power is already loud when we speak about power we're talking about a force but here, this verse that is linked to your season, the Bible is not talking about just power. Relating to the first church, and this word is for you and me now, the Bible speaks of great power. Mm. Everything this year for you shall be great. I receive. Where everyone has fallen, you will arise. In the name of Where no one has succeeded, you will succeed. I receive. Where no one has reached, you shall reach. Oh, as if you are pulling a physical thing, say, I receive it. I receive it. Say again, I receive it. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Act 4, 33 says, and with great power. Mm. At work, they will feel greatness. Oh, yes. oh I receive it. You hear me? In everything you do. Greatness. Amen. When we speak about greatness, we are talking about the extraordinary. The ordinary isn't great. The common isn't great. God is lifting you up. I will say, say God that. is lifting me up. God is lifting me up. With great power, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. This is the message that the world, I talk about the world, meaning the system of the world, does not want. Yeah. To witness, not just to teach it. Because you can teach things you do not know. But you witness what you have experienced. Oh, I know God. Oh, yes. I have experienced his power. Yes. In my level, whatever I've been exposed to, I stand bold to declare to the world. Jesus. My name is Aflukau. The world does not want to hear anyone witnessing the resurrection. Not just witnessing Jesus, but this is another level. Witnessing his resurrection. Saying that he's not dead. The tomb is empty. He's risen. He's alive. Yes. What we saw him do, he will do again. Somebody get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Jesus is about to show up in your life. And when he shows up, you show off. Amen. I read again. And with great power, you will give witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. I will see. Full stop. Another stop has started. And the next says, and great. Great. Oh. I receive. Am I speaking to somebody? Grace. Now, great grace is not an exaggerated term of Hallelujah Ministries to get you up high. It is a prophetic connection to the Word of God for you, for your next level in Amen. this season. The Bible says, "And not grace." Mm. Mm. If you understand great power. 
you will understand great grace. I will say that. For for you, everything shall be great. In the name of Jesus. You shall walk in greatness. I will say that. You will go out in greatness. You will come out in greatness. Your testimony shall be great. Your miracle shall be great. Your blessing shall be great. Your testimony shall be great. Everywhere you go, great, 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 great. Great grace is my portion. Great power, the witness, and the Bible say, and great grace was upon not some of them, not one of them, but upon them all. You are included. I receive. Hey, I say you are included. I receive. It. Your family is included. I receive. It. Your loved ones are included. I receive. It. You will experience the overflowing great grace of God everywhere you look. You look I left, greatness. It. You look right, greatness. You look in front of you, greatness. You look behind you. Greatness. You look up. Greatness. You look down. I receive. In Jesus' name. Great grace. Now you know when we talk about grace, we are talking about more than just a word. Be sure to tune in next time for the continuation of this preaching. Your testimony very big. Because we are in the season of very big. Somebody enlarge your territory. I enlarge it. your mindset. I receive. Open it. up to possibilities. I Open up to possibilities. I if it be anything is possible. If you were blessed by this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can catch Pastor Afloq Howe on AMI TV on the public bouquet or on our live stream on AMITV.com. You can follow Pastor Afloq Howe on all social media platforms at Afloq Howe.